install Windows 10 on our virtual box. Uh, Windows 10 is going to be our victim machine in in the whole in the whole course actually, and we are going to hack into Windows machine using the Kali machine we installed earlier. Uh, so uh, Microsoft has, has actually provided uh, the pre-built versions of uh, of Windows 10 actually, and we can just download them from there. They have a 90 days of expiry expiry period and we can just use them for 90 days and then we can reinstall them so it's actually a pre-built version it's a it's just like a, a dot ova file if you remember from the kali that we just have to double click it and we just have to import it and it will be ready for us to run so just go to the following link and i want you to please take care of these two options i'm going to tell you so once you uh, click the link you are going to see this page and from this page you can select what kind of download you want to do so in virtual machines i want you to select ms edge on windows 10 it's a oh, on it's a 64 bit version and it's a stable version so select the stable version and from the platform you need to select virtual box because we are using virtual box and we need to install it on virtual box so we need a virtual box image once you select select that you will see a download zip button here and you can click it and the download will start for you it's totally free you don't need to pay for it so uh, it's it, it's a large file and i have downloaded it already uh, once you download it, it it will be a dot zip file so you can just click it and you can extract it and once you extract it you are going to see a ms edge windows 10 dot ova file so once you double click it uh, the virtual box will open for you and it will ask you if you want to import it or not so one thing uh, you can actually change the amount of ram you are going to use for it i will set it to 1 gb because 1 gb is enough so that will be 1024 mb and then click on the import button here once you click on the import button the import will start for you and this is going to take some time and just let it finish once it is finished uh, windows 10 will be ready for us to to use so i will get back to you once it's imported and uh, then i will tell you what uh, uh, what settings you need to do for it so the windows 10 has now imported for me and uh, what we need to do is go to the settings and from the settings we can just set the set the amount of ram and we can set the number of processors and we can also set other different options from here but uh, the most important option i want you to set is the network option and in the network option just like we did in kali we need to select the net network and in the net network i want you to select net network not the net network one but but only the net network and the reason for that is we want this windows machine and the kali machine to be on the same on the same network on the su same subnet domain so click on the net network and click ok so if you see here and go to the Kali Linux settings, you can see in the network that w it is on the same network, that is NAT network, NAT network and the NAT network. So now we are going to start our windows and it is going to start for us. So we can see that uh, this is the welcome screen for Windows 10 and it is now starting for us and uh, in a second it will show us the desktop screen so here is the uh, windows 10 des desktop and it just looks like a normal windows machine we use and there, are, there is no difference it has all the functionalities it has inched everything we do in a normal windows uh, it's just we don't need to buy a license for it and the li windows license valid for 90, 90 days only so <coughs> uh, this is our windows machine 
and the internet is running on it because we are, con uh, we are connected to net network and this windows machine and our Kali machine are on the same network now just because of the ne network settings uh, we set earlier so <coughs> in the next video we are going to uh, install metasploitable machine uh, in our lab machine in, in our lab environment actually and that will going to be our last machine for now and after that uh, we, we are going to s actually start learn uh, some basic Linux commands and I will tell you how we use terminal and how we copy things and how we set permissions and and other cool stuff like that and uh, and after that the Wi-Fi hacking part will come <coughs> so thank you very much and this will be all for this video see you guys in the next video